So, for example, wearables, it can be glasses, can be headband, can be inside the people's shoes. It can be embedded in every aspect of daily use people are already doing. We believe it's the way it's going to shape our daily life. Our program is called the Center to Stream Healthcare in Place. And uh, this is a center that we dedicate our effort to design systems and the sensors and algorithms to facilitate deliver healthcare service in places such as the homes and the working places. Right now, we're seeing a lot of strains on, on the medical um, services. On the same front, there's a lot of home wearable technologies that are improving every year. I think a goal of C2SHIP is to improve the output of the wearable technologies to be more medical grade, and then to interface those technologies with the medical healthcare system to really improve outcomes. The core of our center include sensors and systems, as well as artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. We basically use people's phone and the sensor we provide them, or systems we provide them, and those units can establish a computation platform so they can compute, extract out clinical useful informations uh, when we do the measurement through the sensors. This effort will change tremendously the healthcare service. Originally, it was centered around the hospital and the clinics. Now we basically move it to where the, the center and the system can center around the patients. For example, before, we never thought that we can use the camera on the phone to monitor diabetes foot. We call it a foot selfie program. And uh, uh, this program, I've been having patients send me pictures of, I know it sounds crazy, of their feet. What we have found is that even with a very poor quality photograph, you can convey a lot of information. What we're trying to do right now is to take those data and then uh, use like an AI overlay to be able to identify a problem uh, and assist a clinician in doing that autonomously and this is so low cost, and it is so high uh, value um, that it's just so exciting to see this kind of thing happening. This pandemic, what it shows to us is that the healthcare delivery models that is currently centered around the hospital for managing a chronic illness like diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular problems, are not at the scale to handle situations like to COVID-19. So in response, healthcare providers uh, are now re-engineering the pathways to promote care in place. C2SHIP is committed to research and development to accelerate innovations in the area of the decentralized care, including care in place. A lot of medical devices nowadays that we see are in the acute care settings. However, as you can see that during COVID-19 pandemic, many of the acute care conditions that could be managed at home, patients stay at home. We need to bring these monitoring devices into the home setting. We could use a variety of sensors and technologies to help us to provide care. Ultrasonics is something that has been used for a long time, but it hasn't yet translated to home care. That's something that I think my group will have, uh, will have the possibility to do and, and impact in the future. I think that uh, ultrasonic systems uh, may be paired with a wearable will allow us to look at lung disease or uh, blood flow and even eye diseases. And so I'm very excited about collaborating with all of these other sites and with all of the industry partners and, and what they can bring to the table. I think if we all work together, we can really create something exciting that has such a potential to make a huge impact. 
So with the, the availability of all the sensors and the system, it is foreseeable that uh, more people can have access to these devices and that this will also cover some of people who never get covered by healthcare services at all. And now by using low cost but high quality sensors, we can bring them back into the healthcare system.